Honest to vlog. This whole time we've been talking about how women are judged based on their appearance acting as if men aren't. If you look at the males in the top 100, I really don't think it's much different than looking at the females. Most of them are either attractive themselves, Shane Dawson, Kev Jumba Smosh, or they make a point to show attractive women, SXC Phil Ray William Johnson, and most of them put out garbage content. I don't think this bad role model problem is at all a unique thing to girls. The idea of preteen boys looking up to Shane Dawson and SXC Phil makes me cringe just as much as girls looking up to I Justine. And this is by no means just a YouTube thing either. If anything, YouTube is somewhat of a less extreme microcosm of what happens in our culture at large with your Paris Hiltons and whatnot. Also, I don't think the fact that attractive people get more views is necessarily a problem with people being shallow or whatever. <laughs> It's inherent to the nature of a video that the visual component obviously matters. I would rather look at something aesthetically pleasing as opposed to not. If you're going to do standard sit down and talk to a camera vlogs, then the attractiveness of your face does matter. But in much the same way, the quality of your camera and your lighting and your background and your audio also matter. I may not be a girl putting on makeup, but I am filming this right in front of a window for the natural lighting and only filmed this today as opposed to last night for that lighting. And I certainly don't up my saturation and use color correction by accident. I do that as well as things like wear colorful shirts and film in front of colorful shelves very much on purpose because I want my videos to have a visual appeal to them. Making a video visually appealing matters in much the same way that having intelligent content does. It's part of the video. It's that's inherent to the medium. And obviously the attractiveness of the subject that my camera is focused on is going to be the main component in how visually appealing my video is. And no, that's not really fair because some people are more attractive than others. But then it's also not really fair that some people are born smarter than others too, so... A lot of this discussion has been focused on representation in the top 100. While it's true that females definitely are underrepresented there, I think the more glaring issue is the fact that the top 100 just sucks in general. I know that the Vlog Brothers just recently broke in, and Charlie is so cool, like, while not phenomenal, is at least entertaining, and I think he's good at what he does. But other than those two, in my opinion, the other 98 are mostly a bunch of crap. Why is this? And again, this really isn't a YouTube thing at all, but much more of a culture thing. Why does mainstream entertainment in general tend to be crap? In the last 50 or so years of culture, I can really only think of two instances where I think that the best art was also the most popular art. Those two exceptions are, of course, number one, Harry Potter, and number two, The Beatles. But other than those two glaring counterexamples, I really feel like most of the time, whatever is the most popular art is generally a derivative pandering pile of trash. Meanwhile, whatever is the good art of that day seems to be swept to the side with an indie cult following. Obviously, I've heard many a time the lowest common factor theory by which the masses are just too dumb to get good art, so thereby it's the dumbed down stuff that sells. But I don't necessarily believe that, or maybe I just don't want to. I really don't think that most of the world is stupid. I think for whatever reason they just don't want to put in the effort to go seek out good art. And I would like to know why. So my non-rhetorical question for today is, why does popular art usually suck? Why aren't Wheezy Waiter and Fresned the most subscribed on YouTube? Why are Kesha and Lady Gaga so much more well-known than Radiohead and The Flaming Lips? And finally, am I right at all in saying that this more obscure art is better than the mainstream? Art? Or am I simply being a pretentious hipster and in reality Lady Gaga is actually objectively the best art out there and I just choose not to like it because it's popular? And one final note while we're on the topic of great art that goes unnoticed. I would like to draw attention to Raid on the Stadiar's brilliant existentialism series. It's been going on for a few weeks now and today as I post this video the final episode should be coming out. If you have no idea what I'm talking about then there is a link that you should go and watch the first episode and get caught up on the first five episodes because they are amazing. It's well worth it. I legit think that this series is the best thing going on on YouTube right now. And as I await getting to see the final episode, this is far and away the highest anticipation I have felt over seeing a YouTube video. So please go check it out. It will blow your mind and hats off to Tom for seriously raising the bar.